a rare but serious condition. What is nasopharyngeal myosis? Nasopharyngeal myosis is a rare condition. It involves fly larvae infesting the nasal passages and pharynx. This area, behind the nose and above the roof of the mouth, is a warm, moist environment. It can attract certain types of flies to lay their eggs. Though rare, this infestation can be serious if left untreated. The larvae can migrate to vital structures. These include the sinuses, eyes, and even the brain. This can lead to severe complications. While anyone can be affected, certain groups are more vulnerable. These include young children, the elderly, and those with weakened immune systems. People living in areas with poor sanitation are also at increased risk. Early detection and treatment are crucial to prevent complications. Fly larvae invaders causes and life cycle. Nasopharyngeal myiasis occurs when flies deposit their eggs in or near the nasal passages. The culprits are flies that lay eggs on decaying organic matter or open wounds. One such fly is the bot fly, notorious for its parasitic larvae. Once laid, eggs hatch into larvae within a day or two. These larvae burrow into the tissues lining the nasal passages and pharynx. This life cycle can last from days to weeks, depending on the species. Telltale signs. Symptoms of nasopharyngeal myosis. The symptoms of nasopharyngeal myosis can vary depending on the severity of the infestation. In the early stages, the symptoms may be mild and easily mistaken for other conditions like a common cold or sinusitis. However, as the infestation progresses, the symptoms become more pronounced and distressing. One of the most common symptoms is a persistent runny nose, often accompanied by a foul-smelling discharge. This discharge may be bloody or contain visible larvae. Patients may also experience nasal congestion, itching, and frequent sneezing. As the larvae burrow into the tissues, they can cause facial pain, headaches, and swelling around the nose and eyes. Some individuals may also develop a fever. In severe cases, the larvae can migrate to the sinuses, eyes, or even the brain, leading to serious complications such as meningitis, vision loss, or neurological problems. Section 4. Identifying the culprit. Diagnosing the infestation. Diagnosing nasopharyngeal myiasis involves a combination of physical examination, patient history, and laboratory tests. The doctor will begin by taking a detailed medical history, inquiring about recent travel, outdoor activities, and any potential exposure to flies. During the physical exam, the doctor will examine the patient's nasal passages using a speculum and a light source. The presence of larvae, often wriggling, confirms the diagnosis. The doctor may also take a sample of the nasal discharge for microscopic examination. In some cases, imaging tests such as X-rays, CT scans or MRI may be necessary to determine the extent of the infestation and rule out any complications. These tests can help visualize the larvae and assess the damage to surrounding tissues. Section 5. Eradicating the intruders. Treatment and prevention. Treating nasopharyngeal myiasis involves removing the larvae and using medications to kill any remaining larvae and prevent infections. The procedure is usually performed under local anesthesia. Specialized instruments, like forceps, are used to extract the larvae. This can be uncomfortable, but is crucial to prevent complications. Once removed, antibiotics or antifungal medications may be prescribed. Patients should practice good nasal hygiene, 
including nasal irrigation. Preventing myosis involves avoiding areas with poor sanitation. When traveling, use insect repellent and wear protective clothing.